have had very few leads on this case. However, a witness who lives opposite the museum has been able to give us some information about who may have been involved. Now, this lady was woken up at around 3 a.m. on the night in question by loud music directly outside her window. On looking out of her window, she saw a man sitting in the front of a van, shouting, singing. Now, this man is described as having a big white beard. The witness said he looked a bit like Father Christmas. As for the van, no positive ID on the make as yet. But the witness described it as blue or green. So, were you in the area of the museum late on Saturday night? Did you see anything suspicious? If so, please help us put these precious items back where they belong and these criminals in prison. If you have any information, please call the police now on the free hotline. That's 0800 666 000. 0800 666 000. That's it from me. Till the same time next week. Evening all. Our thanks to Inspector Holland there. You're listening to County FM. We'll be right back after this. Okay. Four point nine. Have you got the answers? Yes, miss. Okay, for number six, where does the witness live? Opposite the museum. That's correct. What woke the witness up at 3 a.m.? Music. Yeah. What color is the beard? White. Yeah, white. big white. Okay. What color is the fan? Uh, blue or green. Blue or green. Oh. oh. What is the telephone number for the police hotline? Zero eight zero zero. Mm -hmm. Six 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 zero zero zero. Okay. So the, for the next one, uh, there will be two students discussing the details of a presentation. Um, again, multiple choice for 4.9. Okay, let's hear the audio. Nine. You will hear two students discussing a college presentation on crime. First, you have some time to look at questions one to four. Now listen to the first part of the conversation and answer questions one to four. Hi, Al. Hi, Dave. Just working on our presentation for tomorrow. How's your bit coming along? That's tomorrow. I thought it was next week. You mean you've done nothing? Look, Al, I've had a lot of things to do. OK, don't worry. Sit down. This is what I think we should do. Firstly, let's give a few facts and figures about the crime rates here in London. Like what? Like in the last financial year, there were over one million crimes reported in the Greater London area. You're joking. Must have just been a bad year, right? Well, it's an increase of almost 23,000 on the previous year, so I'm afraid it's a rising trend. What sort of crimes? Murder? Luckily... Murder only accounted for a small percentage, under 200 in total. What about robberies? Robberies totaled about 43,000. 43,000? That an increase too? No, the previous year was almost 9,000 more. At least something's moving in the right direction. What about burglaries? From homes or business premises? Both. Uh, let me see... About the same as the year before, 113,000. 
but that's not including shoplifting. What about cars? There must be loads of car crime. Yeah. Half a million vehicles are stolen in the UK every year. In fact, vehicle crime accounts for about 25% of all reported crime. That includes thieves stealing things from cars too. So, what do you want me to do? Perhaps you could give the audience some details and then maybe some advice about how to prevent car crime. OK. Look, I'll do some research and meet you after lunch. OK, so one more time for this exercise, one to four. You will hear two students discussing a college presentation on crime. First, you have some time to look at questions one to four. Now listen to the first part of the conversation and answer questions one to four. Hi, Al. Hi, Dave. Just working on our presentation for tomorrow. How's your bit coming along? That's tomorrow. I thought it was next week. You mean you've done nothing? Look, Al, I've had a lot of things to do. OK, don't worry. Sit down. This is what I think we should do. Firstly, let's give a few facts and figures about the crime rates here in London. Like what? Like in the last financial year, there were over one million crimes reported in the Greater London area. You're joking. Must have just been a bad year, right? Well, it's an increase of almost 23,000 on the previous year, so I'm afraid it's a rising trend. What sort of crimes? Murder? Luckily, murder only accounted for a small percentage, under 200 in total. What about robberies? Robberies totaled about 43,000. 43,000? That an increase too? No, the previous year was almost 9,000 more. At least something's moving in the right direction. What about burglaries? From homes or business premises? Both. Uh, let me see. About the same as the year before. 113,000. But that's not including shoplifting. What about cars? There must be loads of car crime. Yeah. Half a million vehicles are stolen in the UK every year. In fact, vehicle crime accounts for about 25% of all reported crime. That includes thieves stealing things from cars too. So, what do you want me to do? Perhaps you could give the audience some details and then maybe some advice about how to prevent car crime. OK. Look, I'll do some research and meet you after lunch. OK. 4.10 OK, let's discuss for number one. The answer is? Uh, going up. Yeah, going up, A. Eh? For number two? Going down. Going down, yes. Number three? The same. same. Okay. For the last one? A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. Because 25%. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's move on again. Complete the notes below. Write no more than three words and or a number for each answer. Okay. So you need to uh, fill in the blank here from number five to number ten. Ten. Now you have some time to look at questions five to ten. Now listen to the rest of the conversation and answer questions five to ten. So, what did you find out, Dave? Well, if your car gets stolen, 
You'd think the police would find it eventually, wouldn't you? I suppose so. Well, according to my research, only 60% of cars are returned to their owners. 60%? What happens to the rest? Who knows? And listen, I thought it was safer to buy a second-hand car rather than a new one, right? Yeah. Well, listen to this. Older cars have a higher probability of being stolen than new ones. Can you believe it? Huh. So, any advice on preventing car crime? Well, don't think that by parking in a car park, your car is safe. 30% of all car crime happens in car parks. Yeah. I've been in some pretty scary car parks in my time. Best to park it somewhere busy. And at night, choose a well-lit area. Makes sense. Anything else? Never leave the keys in the car, not even for a second. Don't leave any cash, credit cards, checkbooks, mobile phones, vehicle documents, or anything really where it can be seen. My dad had a hat stolen from the back of his car. A hat? Yeah. Baseball cap. It's okay. One more time. 4.10. Now you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen to the rest of the conversation and answer questions 5 to 10. So, what did you find out, Dave? Well, if your car gets stolen, you'd think the police would find it eventually, wouldn't you? I suppose so. Well, according to my research, only 60% of cars are returned to their owners. 60%? What happens to the rest? Who knows? And listen, I thought it was safer to buy a second-hand car rather than a new one, right? Yeah. Well, listen to this. Older cars have a higher probability of being stolen than new ones. Can you believe it? Huh. So, any advice on preventing car crime? Well, don't think that by parking in a car park, your car is safe. 30% of all car crime happens in car parks. Yeah. I've been in some pretty scary car parks in my time. Best to park it somewhere busy. And at night, choose a well-lit area. Makes sense. Anything else? Never leave the keys in the car. Not even for a second. Don't leave any cash, credit cards, checkbooks, mobile phones, vehicle documents or anything, really, where it can be seen. My dad had a hat stolen from the back of his car. A hat? Yeah. Baseball cap. OK. Let's discuss the answer for number five. How much percentage of stolen cars never return? 40%. 60. 60, yeah. Never return. And for number six? Old car. Yeah, New old car. car. Old car. Old, old car. Mm -hmm. the, more, the more likely to be stolen is the old one. 30% of all car crime happens in? Car, car park. Mm -hmm. Yes, car park. How about number eight? Uh, park car in a? Well, Yes, well lit area. Never leave in the car. Never leave what? The keys. Yeah, the keys. The keys. And then the last one, never leave any other valuable, were they? Can be seen. Can be stolen. Yeah, can be stolen or can be seen. So, okay. Um, for listening section number three it 
it's academic dialogue okay we don't have that yet um for the meeting today i guess only for these exercises um i think you can watch a youtube video about how to do speaking